Nigel, a quick game against Mickey. Opening did not go according to plan. Um, no, I basically didn't get what I wanted. I was just um, hoping to to get an edge in the Queen's Gambit, but um, uh, he found a good way to play, which in fact has not been played uh, many times. I've just discovered that, uh, uh, and it, see, it just seems to equalise actually. Um, and I wasn't very happy because I had a long think and then managed to get a disadvantage quite quickly. Um, yeah, I made a, a poor choice and then at the end I really had to repeat the position otherwise I was, uh, I was going to be, uh, I think, substantially worse. So, um, yeah, I'm not terribly pleased. Obviously, a draw against a strong player like Michael Adams is, uh, is not a disaster. But the thing is, in order to do well here, to get in the money, you really need plus five. To make the most <laughs> of the white pieces? And, and I've only got one white left. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to win another game at some point. And today was an opportunity, and I just didn't make anything of it. So, look, a draw in itself is not a, not a bad result, but uh, I, I would like to have played more and to have done something, but it's, it's the way it turned out. Right, the final position where the repetition was made, were you afraid that he might not go for the repetition or was that the best choice for both of you? I, I, was, I was concerned because uh, he had the, the two bishops, in particular the bishop on b7, was very, very active. So I, I just thought uh, in the end game, uh, the w I had potential to be very seriously worse. Uh, and that was the, the last thing I wanted. Uh, uh, middle game, uh, it's uh, better because I can get some threats against his king. But the moment we, we have an exchange of pieces and his, his rook comes into the game, uh, I'm just worse in this, uh, this position. So... Um, uh, yeah, well, it wasn't my greatest day. In fact, the last two days have not been great. I had a very interesting game against Peter Svidler yesterday where he missed... Uh, an you got lucky. Yeah, well, he missed an extremely beautiful win, which was, in fact, very, very hard to see. Um, nowadays, of course, when everybody's watching with the engines, you know, every... Tom, Dick and Harry says, oh, why didn't he play this? Well, because, be because it was bloody difficult you to know. find on the board <laughs> and uh, if somebody is you know prods you at the time and says white to play and win you might find it but uh, there is nobody pushing you at the time and saying oh it's plus five for white <laughs> right and a lot of audience does not get that I mean this this trick that you're talking about was queen e6 and then yeah, going bishop b5 the thing was the the first Bishop sacrifice was the the difficult one because uh, it's actually putting the bishop on a square where it was defended the move before, and it, it's it's a quiet sacrifice. The second one, I mean, once you see that, I mean, the second one is a violent sacrifice and much much easier. But it was a combination of these uh, sacrifices, which well, in fact, uh, you know, better players like David Smurden. Uh, he remarked on the on the internet that this is a really devilish uh, tactic, and it was well disguised. Right now, Nigel, today we've been seeing a lot of draws on top boards, early quick draws, in fact, quite a few of them. Um, players don't seem to be wanting to take too much risk at this stage of the tournament. Can you explain that to us a little bit? I think uh, it's one of those things that if you're in contention uh, at this point with very few rounds left, uh, a loss really sets you back. But I think actually one of the things is that uh, players are very evenly matched and it's just not that easy to, to win games uh, in this situation. I mean, there are just so many strong players here. So you know, the, the, the cream has risen to the top and um, there are perhaps fewer uh, decisive results. So, uh, yeah, there were a couple of disappointing games. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the Bulgarian game was not exactly a thriller uh, today. 
Uh, my game was disappointing. I mean, it was not uh, prearranged by any any stretch of the imagination. Um, but it happens. So sometimes it goes that way. Absolutely. Well, two very crucial rounds to go. We wish you all the best. Thank you.